one thing that I try and not talk about is cryptids. <laughs> right outside of the outside of my uh, Celtic Myths series, but the new one, new new SCP just dropped, boys. <laughs> Fears that the Gimp Man. <laughs> That's an, an imaginative name. <coughs> Fears that the Gimp Man has returned after the latex pervert ambushes a couple walking home. Fucking look at him as well, man. It's a very sinister man dressed head to toe in a gimp suit has returned to terrorise sleepy Somerset villages. And in, in Somerset, uh, Yatin and Clavelsham have been plagued by the latex-clad pest since 2018, who appears late at night to stalk and terrify the locals. Despite arresting two people in connection with the case, so there's more than one, uh, police are still yet to identify or stop the man known as Gimp Man. It now appears the shadowy figure has returned yet again <laughs> to claim another victim. Kira Elston, 19, and her boyfriend were walking home after getting out of a taxi in Yatin at around 1am on Sunday when Gimp Man emerged from the shadows and started walking towards them with his arms outstretched. Now, I, I will completely admit, for a woman walking home alone at night, that must be absolutely terrifying. I would start swinging. I, I'm sorry, like, if a gimp's coming towards me in the middle of the night, man, I, yeah, he's, he's catching a few. <laughs> like, uh, uh, she had not been worrying about someone popping out of the darkness as she was with her boyfriend, but he suddenly shouted, Kira, there's a man, as they approached the roundabout. By the time we saw him, he was very close, and my boyfriend just told me to run. <laughs> What a pussy. Uh, Kira said the encounter was the most terrifying experience of my life, adding, I've got the image in my head of him walking towards me and staring. Uh, I dread to think uh, what would have happened if I'd been on my own. I'm still really shaken up by it. As he walked towards them, he stood and stood with his legs shoulder width apart and his arms out like he was proud, she said, like he wanted me to remember it. Kira's experience is the 16th time that the mysterious pervert has been sighted in the area, yet authorities are still no closer to uncovering his true identity. A police search turned up nothing after Sunday's incident, and the suspect left no trace at the scene. Like I said, man, he's an SCP. Uh, Kira's father, Steve Elston, appealed for help on Facebook to find the man and said he is on the hunt for him. He added, Last night my daughter and her boyfriend were approached by Gimp Man at around 1am at the top of Claverham Road, where it meets Yatton High Street. Could you PM me if you have any suspicions as to who he is? Also, could people in that area check their doorbell footage, please? Kira was absolutely terrified she contacted police who didn't even come round to take a statement, so I'll be on the hunt for him myself. Well, when the police won't do it. Uh, Gimp Man was last sighted... Gimp Man, I'm still laughing at that fucking name. Was last sighted in 2021 by a couple watching TV who spotted a masked man lying in their garden <laughs> watching them through the doors and chased him away. Prior to that, he was last spotted in 2019 when a woman claimed a man wearing a full black rubbery outfit started grunting and breathing heavily before he charged at her. The victim, Abby 25, managed to snap a picture of the attacker as he approached her and said, My heart felt like I was running a marathon. There was an instant feeling of panic, anxiety and anger again, which took me over a year of private counselling and medications to control. And then we've come to the end of the article. Okay, so... Let's discuss legality. Uh, him just walking down the street dressed like that, well, yeah, he can do that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, going onto someone's private property and staring at them through the door, no, no, you cannot fucking do that. However, approaching women at night dressed like that, like, is fucked up. That That is a little bit fucked up, right? There's a... Uh, it's because there's a sinister sexual nature behind it because it's a fucking gimp suit and that's obviously associated with certain sexual perversions, right? Now, the thing is, I don't know if this is a guy who gets off on this or if it's a guy who does it as a prank. If it's just, you know, some fucking student that's doing it because he thinks he's funny, right? If he was doing it to, like, groups of men or whatever, then I would find it genuinely funny. The fact that he's doing it to women... Yeah, nah, 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 that's fucked up, that's fucked up, I mean at least he's not harmed anyone, so I don't know if the intention is harm, but it's still, it's, it's a little bit fucked up and, and you should stop, 